Welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Libra in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, Libra. Let's see. <laughs> Libra, August 2023, the Two of Cups, right away. Okay. So, this is a contract. Two of Cups is also a contract with the Ten of Pentacles. This is what I'm seeing. A new contract that has a lot of potential. Okay, Libra. Let's see. News, communication, news are coming in. Good news. Libra. August 2023 for Libra, please. Something you have been working, you have been working hard. Mm. Very focused, working hard, waiting. You're waiting to reap the fruits of your labor. Labor, um, okay. Okay. Don't get discouraged if what you have been wishing for, waiting for, manifesting, is not coming in on your timing. Okay. Whatever that is, Libra. Whatever that is. Two more shuffles, please, for Libra. August 2023. There is something that you need to let go of or uh, walk away from. Uh, you know what it is. I'm hearing you know what it is. It's an old contract. It could also be a soulmate contract. Okay. Let's see. Something that is keeping you stuck in a way. Libra. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is all about tuning in to our higher self, listening to our intuition, not our mind, not our ego. First card for you is strength. Very nice. This is telling me that this is exactly what you're doing. Yes? You're taming the beasts, taming the ego. <laughs> We have the Hierophant, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. This is in your future, Libra. This energy of the Ten of Pentacles, this is a very, it's an abundant energy. It's in your future. It's in front of you. Four of Swords. Let me see. The Moon and the Sun with Judgment. The Queen of Pentacles. Justice. You see? This is all what you really need to know. That justice is going to be served. You see how you have planted your seeds and now you're waiting to reap, right? So, Libra. Now, for some of you, for some of you, that you are worried hmm, that things are not going to turn out the way that you have planned, um, strength here, Leo energy, strength, hmm, Lion's Gate also, so, today, no, yes, okay, we're very close, oh, yes, okay, sorry. 
I had a moment. <laughs> so you need to find the strength inside of you to tap into optimism, Libra. And I'm not saying that you're not optimistic, but again, it feels like, for, again, as I said, for some of you, that maybe you're losing hope or it's like, yes, you're losing hope. The Hierophant is a structure, is a building, is, is, is a community. A business, Libra. And with the five of wands, it seems that there is a lot of competition. Or you feel that you are competing with someone or something here, Libra. So I'm going to start clarifying, and I'm going to clarify the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands for Libra. Again, this is a sense of, 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 of competing. So why is the Five of Wands here in this reading, please? For Libra, August 2023, the Five of Wands. Uh, you stand out. You are the Empress, Libra. You do stand out from the crowd. No one can compete with the Empress. Like, no. The Empress for Libra, please. Now, uh, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, one more please, for the Empress. And the emperor. Now, I don't want to make this a love reading, but look at this. We have again the two of cups and the three of cups here. And we also have an emperor and an empress. So it feels like you had a, a, a downfall with someone. <clears throat> there has been a misunderstanding. Maybe it would not it was not a misunderstanding. Maybe it was just it was what it was and it did bring a a transformation or will bring a transformation in this existing connection relationship. Both of you are hurt. Both of you are hurt. Because of this. Now, this could also be a marriage here with the Hierophant. It could be a, a marriage. Or a long-term connection. But I feel that in the near future, there's going to be healing in this connection. It doesn't mean that you're going to be back together or things will be as they were. No, I'm not, I'm not sensing that. Because as I said, there was a major, a big transformation that took place or will take place in, place in this connection that was meant to. But again, I do see in the near future, this connection, um, not... I don't know, maybe it will come together again, but it's going to be totally different. And again, here we're, we're talking about a soulmate contract. And I'm going to clarify the Emperor and the Empress with the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands. For Libra, please. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. There's going to be communication. Or that there has been communication. 
this communication, this, this, this expression of, of, of feelings or thoughts or whatever it was brought this transformation, this ending. And maybe there were words that were uh, hurtful, that were, yes, words that were hurtful. But this is for, uh, from, from, both, from both sides. To find the world. I keep hearing that is it very important to give each other space? Libra, there is a new beginning. There is a new beginning with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There is a new beginning here. And again, this is not for all of you, but I feel that you are going to reconnect with this person, but again, it's going to be in, in, in a totally different vibe. It's going to vibe, your connection with this person is going to vibe in, on a different level. Sometimes the tower needs to take place for the structure that hasn't built on a strong foundation to fall down and then to be rebuilt, and this is what I'm seeing here. Because there is, there is love, there is true love. You, you, you really love each other deeply. And again, I'm seeing for some of you, this is a long-term commitment. It's a, it's a marriage, it's a commitment. Yes, it could be also that for, it could also be that you don't know each other very well, right? <clears throat> Maybe you have been dating uh, like for a couple of, of weeks or months and still you are getting to know each other and there has been a, 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 a how you say that? Um, I'm hearing it, but uh, fraction, 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 not fraction. Like, um, but something was expressed here. that brought a separation or a, or just a, a pause in, into this connection. That again was very necessary. Can we find please the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups? The King, okay, this is the Six of Swords entering into calmer waters, okay, in the future with the Two of Wands, okay. Can we find please the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups for Libra? Ten of Cups, yeah. Keep jumping. You see, we have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This is both of you worrying. This is both of you. Maybe regretting things that you said, did, or did not say, or did not do. But the outcome here is the Ten of Cups. Okay. Let's move on. I want to clarify, please, the Hierophant here. The Hierophant for Libra. The Hierophant for Libra. Thank you. We have the Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Page of Cups that really wanted to come out, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And the Sun. Wow. Now, when it comes to your 3D reality, for those of you that have applied for a new job or are um, really like um, um, wanting to expand and grow in your business, in your career, there is also a pause here with the, with, with the hanged man. <clears throat> but this is something that you really want. You're very passionate. There's a lot of passion here. And here with the Page of Cups, there is an element of surprise. Again, it feels like you will going, you're going to receive Libra. You're going to get what you want because it's meant for you to receive it.
Now, the Empress energy that you are embodying, right, is a passive energy. I mean, we also saw the Emperor, which is the, you know, he's, is all about action. Mm. So again, it's knowing, understanding, knowing when to be passive and when to be active. And I feel that a lot of you have just you have taken the the the, the steps that you are sh that you were shown to take. You you did take the actions that you were supposed to take. And now it's time for you to embody the energy of the Empress, being in the passive energy, and be ready, just preparing yourself to receive. Okay, Libra. <laughs> uh. Feel fine, please, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of gratitude also here, yes? Being grateful for what, for, for what you have. Being grateful for what you already have. Or whom is already in your life. Libra. Okay, clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. We have Aquarius Energy, the star. This is wishing upon a star. Whatever we have been wishing for. What are you wishing for, Libra? What? You will receive it, Libra. <laughs> King of Swords, this is your energy. And justice on the bottom of the deck. So. For, again, for some of you, this could be like returning, a uh, return of, of funds, um, bonuses, that um yes it could be also child support and 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 how do you say that sorry pension thank you pension something 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 regarding pentacles money the king of swords with the ten of pentacles thank you spirit Nine, something that you have been waiting for. Again, this is about all about, this is about money. Definitely. And again, the good news with the three of cups. Okay. Eight of pentacles for Libra. The sun. So good news. I'm repeating now. And in the near future with the two of wands. The two of wands is all about future all about the future and you're standing here with a pentacle again we have the king of pentacles here libra this is earth energy capricorn taurus virgo this is you i i feel it because you're tapping as i said in the beginning look we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles this is your energy you're embodying this energy you're very much focused in that now what your 3d reality okay for things to get in in in, in the right place for things, things to start rolling. But again, you are tapping. Into your higher self, listening to your higher self, listening to your intuition. Again, it's all about balancing the feminine with the masculine energy, passive, active. Yes. Now, clarifying the four of swords. The four of swords for Libra, please. So you're resting. You see, this is what I like about this reading. Is that you're waiting for something to come in. You're waiting to receive. You know that you're going to see. It's something that you are aware of. You know that this will come to you. You have a feeling. And you are right. That's why you're resting here with the Four of Swords. Waiting patiently. Exactly. Yes. And as I said, you will get it. Three of Cups. <laughs> okay. Just sometimes we get to things, but not on our time. Yes, this is why we, we say divine timing. So it's like you're waiting for that divine timing. 
and you are okay with it. I'm not saying that you are impatient or no. So, good news. Good news when it comes to your 3D reality and a positive outcome when it comes to a soulmate connection here that could be, it doesn't have to be love, it could be a friendship, whatever, okay? So, let's see what is your message from your animal spirit, Libra. For August 2023, message from your animal spirit, Libra, August 2023, for Libra, please, for Libra, for Libra, thank you, we have the horse, I am willing to find new pathways to discover my inner power, I am determined to align with the forces of nature and feed my soul. It is easy for me to find freedom and travel either physically or within my consciousness. Nature brings me balance. I enjoy and observe the positive green vibrations of this wonderful planet. Are you ready for freedom and forward movement? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Is it time for you to move on to make it easy for someone else to do so? What? Is it time for you to move on or make it easy for someone else to do so? Be ready to take a journey. You may decide to take a journey within or you can decide to journey into nature to restore your freedom and inner strength. Recognize the gifts of nature and align with nature's pharmacy from animals and planets, eh, plants, not plants, plants, not planets, <laughs> plants. Okay, Libra, let's see. For oh, Libra, August 2023, spiritual message, oh, that was fast, and we have yin yang. <laughs> yes, feminine and masculine, empress, emperor, yin yang. So, sit quietly and close your eyes. Breathe slowly and deply, 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 sorry. In your mind's eye, imagine a yin-yang symbol representing two opposing but complementary forces, something that's found throughout all of nature. Yin is often symbolized as water or earth and is considered the receptive feminine force. Yang is symbolized by fire or wind and is the creative masculine force. While opposites, they are not absolutes. Nothing can exist on our physical plane without its opposite and neither part is superior to the other. Allow this image to move you to your center where you feel at one and at peace with your whole being. You are everything. <laughs> this is what I got for you, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>